Yo, what up, YouTube? This is your boy, Red Death 8000 or Red Death Animations here, and I'm coming to y'all with this little theory I made up, man. I've actually made up this theory for like about a month now. I just never really had the chance to put it out there because I never really felt comfortable um, saying my theories out on YouTube like that because I didn't think they were quite plausible. But recently I checked my YouTube and my first theory video blew up. I'm not saying blew up, blew up, blew up. It's just that it's getting more views than I expected. Like, I thought I would have, like, 15 views because my channel barely gets views. But, you know, that shit went to 80. I'm like, God dang. I was like, whoa. But, anyways, I'm going to talk to y'all about a theory relating to the diamonds and how they shot that thing to Earth. Um, if y'all don't know what it is, it's this thing where the diamonds... Well, we now know the diamonds shot at the Earth. It was around the time of the Gem War. The, um, the diamonds didn't really see the Earth as a viable colony anymore. So they decided to just shoot this random thing to Earth and um, corrupt every single gem there. And people have been making all these theories relating to what it is. So I felt I should just give y'all my two cents on this whole thing. Now, what I think it is, is that shooting star that you've seen, we've all seen before. We've seen it twice. We've seen it in Monster Buddies, in um, the Ice Cave. And we've seen it in Steven's, one of Steven's future visions that was given by Garnet. He's seen a, um, a time, a predicted time where the gems, they slowly, carefully drag the shooting stars at a warp path. I'm talking about that. What if that's the very thing the diamond shot at Earth? What made me to believe that this theory is quite possible is that the way um pearl describes it she described it as an ancient elemental so hot something like that that it can only be contained in ice bare skin cannot touch it something like that but that may seem irrelevant but it's actually helping my theory out what if that very thing is the reason why these gems are very um much corrupted and the reason why you can't touch it with your bare skin i know it's hot but what if it does more than just poof you and all that it really messes up your gem programming think about it yeah and plus this may be something kind of out of the ordinary but the way it was shot down on earth it looked like a shooting star it looked like a star that You'd see out in the night sky, but it just just expanded and you figure it out it's shooting towards you It's like a diamond shaped type of thing a pretty much a shooting star type of shit and it just shot down at you I just feel that that Shooting that that shooting star that pro described was the very thing that the diamond shot at earth you know and the reason why the gems are getting it is because maybe they are trying to contain it so no other gem or anyone can reach it. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. Maybe I'm really off, like really off. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe I am really off. You don't know. But I'll try to deliver more information if I can. Tell me what y'all think in the comment section below and I'll reply to everyone. This is your boy Red Death Animations and I'm out. Peace.